Assalamu alaikum. I'm here with the head of Tayyib, and um, he's one of the leaders of the, uh, the, the protest for Sudan here in Houston. And uh, tell us a little bit about what happened today, why we're here, and what's going on in Sudan. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for the interview, first and foremost. Uh, we're here today, June 30th, in solidarity with the millions march that's going on in Sudan right now, throughout all states, especially the capital, Khartoum. Uh, what's significant about it is that it's the first millions march since the massacre on June 3rd that killed 130 plus people, confirmed, 750 plus injured, over 50 women raped, you know, and, and it's just, uh, it pretty much put depression and trauma through the Sudanese community, you know, within the diaspora, within people in Sudan, and it really took a toll on a Sudanese person, you know, and, and June 30th was meant to be the date that that trauma is broken, you know, and uh, mashallah, people in Sudan actually were able to really come out in millions, you know, there's a saying that, today, that came out today saying that, you know, they asked for a millions march, they got a billions march, so mashallah, a lot of people came out, and not only that, but uh, the diaspora as a unity decided to come out in significant cities uh, to show solidarity to the people in Sudan, you know, so as a Sudanese diaspora, we have three main goals that we can accomplish, you know, in support of people in Sudan, and that's raising awareness, lobbying, and donating funds. So uh, the biggest thing that we want to seek from protests like this is, is, is to show the world what's actually going on, you know. Seeing, seeing us protest here, you know, we, we were out here today in Houston, Texas, from Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, you know, as a Texas collective in solidarity with the people in Sudan, and mashallah, we're here in hundreds and if that shows anything that shows the solidarity of the diaspora to the people of Sudan. You know, I think it's a patriotic duty on us to, to, to really represent our Sudanese resilient people, you know, getting faced by live ammunition and still coming out and protesting for our freedom and our rights, you know. But as they do that inside of Sudan, we have a role in the diaspora. And once we do that role, that means that's our revolution too. There's always the feeling that we don't belong being far away from home. But that's what protests like this today, I mean, we have hundreds of people from all over Texas coming through. You know, there are protests in London, D.C. Today, the, the, the 29th and the 30th was probably like, we, we really painted the whole world blue, which is the color that we chose for the martyrs that passed away because uh, uh, significantly one of the martyrs, Muhammad Matar, was using that on his display picture, you know, and then people moved on from that to display that, uh, that blue it's called the Matar Blue now, you know, to display that just prayer for, for, for the martyrs and, and just remembrance of them. So, you know, we, we painted the whole world blue. And, and that's something to be really proud of, uh, you know, as a Sudanese person. But yeah, just to conclude, I really want to uh, send my prayers to the martyrs. May Allah grant them the highest ranks of Jannah and uh, make them from the Shuhada, inshallah. And uh, I pray for strength and uh, guidance for their parents and, and families and patience, inshallah. Uh, and thank you for having me again, brother. Appreciate it.